Let's see if we can get a feel for the difference between permutations and combinations a little more clearly. Anne wishes to knit herself a striped sweater. She has four colors of yarn available, red, blue, green, and yellow. How many different combinations of two colors does she have to choose from? Now, if we were going to do this as permutations, if we didn't care if, if it mattered what order, in other words, if she chose red and then green, or she chose green and then red, and those both counted as separate choices, then we'd have a, a pick-choose uh, situation. She'd have four possibilities, and she'd be picking two of them. So we would do 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial, and we'd end up with 4 factorial over 2 factorial, or 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1, those would cancel. We'd have 4 times 3 over 1. So we'd have a total of 12 possibilities. But in this situation, this would be the number of permutations. Permutations. In this situation, we don't want permutations. We want combinations. So what we want to do is figure out how many different possibilities there are and then take away any that are duplicates. So if we chose red and green or green and red, they're going to be the same possibility because whether she knits the scarf using the red first and then the green or the green first and then the red, either way it's still going to be a red and green scarf. So let me put up a little chart here that shows here's all the possibilities. Let me get rid of that other junk so we can read a little better. Here's the other po all the possibilities. And those possibilities then are red and green, blue and red, red and blue, red and green, red and yellow, green and blue, green and yellow, yellow and blue, and then the equivalent pairings are the same colors, just in the opposite order. So for red and blue, we have blue and red. And for red and green, we have green and red, and so forth. So out of our total of 12 possibilities that we came up with with our permutation calculation, half of them are duplicates. So we can just take out these others on this side, get rid of this half, to see how many possible different scarves she can make. And we can see that out of all the different colors she has, she can make a total of six different scarves. So she has six different different combinations. Combinations. So six different combinations even though there were 12 different permutations.